So Lord Ousley, you're here at the launch of Hinch, which is a, a, a site aimed at engaging fans and footballers. Uh, we've seen a lot of behaviour from fans in the last week that hasn't been so good. Can you just comment on that from your point of view or from Kick It Out's point of view? Well, it's always sad when you see at first hand the abuses that go on in football, but those abuses also go on in wider society. And if football wasn't there, the thugs who want to behave badly will be out there doing it to someone else. Uh, but I think we are on a curve where more fans are recognising that they have to address the issue of prejudice and discrimination. Uh, the fans' organisations are very much uh, in the forefront of helping to bring about that change. But we've got a long way to go because it's not just a football problem, it's a society problem. And we've got to get more involvement from the corporates, corporate organisations, from local authorities, from the government, to help football, to help others who are affected by the scourge of those who are totally committed to antisocial behaviour. The incident in, in Paris last week obviously shocked a lot of people. Are you, if you like, heartened by the response of uh, Chelsea Football Club, for example? Chelsea Football Club have set the right standard in how they responded to Paris. They didn't say nothing to do with us, these are not our fans. They didn't say it happened on a, in a public place and wasn't to do with football. They accepted that they had some responsibility uh, and they took that very seriously, responded very professionally and very proportionately. Uh, what they've done in already suspending some fans and looking to identify others, trying to get the evidence with the French authorities to back them up on any prosecutions which might take place and also they're committed to banning orders themselves. So I think Chelsea did the right things in PR terms but what is also commendable is they've been doing the right things behind the scenes as well. They've been transforming themselves in how they communicate on a multicultural basis, how they engage with people from different backgrounds, how they try to educate their fans when they come to football of what sort of conduct they want to happen there, how they tell people and they have to go on telling them we don't want you if that's how you're going to behave, we don't want you to be associated with football. The manager did his bit, the chairman has done his bit, now they've got to keep maintain that status and push it even higher. They've got to do a lot more. Because of